Yo, what's going down, YouTube? It's your boy Quan, aka P3 Customs. I'm looking like I'm fresh out. But y'all, yeah, I, I got some. All right, that's a lot better, yeah. What's going down, YouTube? It's your boy Quan, aka P3 Customs, man. And I'm back again with another video. Today, we're gonna be doing the hood steppers, the ground breakers, mm. the rob nick. Nah, we about to, we about to turn these up, though, man. We about to turn these up. The infamous black forces. We about to do the red bottom on them. Let's give y'all a little tutorial how I do that. And we're going to do the glitter. Yeah. The glitter. I'm going to show y'all how I do that. Listen, I got my own techniques to everything that I do. I really kind of base things off of things I done seen other customizers do. I'm looking real inky, boy. But I really base things like I take things from other customizers, but also like making my own. You know what I mean? So. I'm gonna just walk y'all through what I do or whatever, you know, my little methods. So uh, let's get right. All right, just it. some of the things that you need, or pretty much all the things you need. First off is the gloss mod podge. Make sure it's the gloss label. They sell different types of mod podge. Make sure you get the gloss. Then you get the extra fine glitter. This is straight off Amazon Marblers glitter. Nothing too fancy, fancy, fancy. But this is the glitter sealer blast. Sealer glitter blast, however you say it, whatever. It's to seal the glitter. We're gonna need a few coats for that, and I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna do with that. And we have the acetone, of course, to prep the shoe. Uh, this is for the bottom. I use the adhesion promoter. I use too hard, and also, of course, the red for the red bottom. Oh, and sandpaper. This is about 180 grit, I think, um, to sand the bottom as well. This is the tape to tape off. Oh, and I put paper down because it can get messy with the glitter, and you want to be able to save the glitter, and so you can put it back into the um. Put it back into the bag of glitter, whatever the case. So, but yeah, man, this is what you'll need. This is what you. But yeah, let's get into it. First, let's start off with unlacing the shoes. Get the laces up off the crime steppers. After you unlace them, you go ahead and make sure you prep them real good. One of the most important parts, of course, you acetone. Wherever you're gonna put the glitter at, make sure you acetone them real good. And of course, we're gonna move on to the bottom. Make sure we acetone the bottom as well. Acetone it real good. Put your back into it. Put your muscle into it. Then you sand it. And you really put your back in it. Is to muscle in it is. Then we're gonna hit it with the acetone again. Get that little residue up off of there. And then we're gonna hit it with the adhesion promoter. Man, make sure you're not in a basement or a place with no windows. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I almost passed out. Not not smart. Not smart at all. But then we go ahead and uh, you know tape them off. I usually don't tape them like this. I usually do uh, the electric tape, but. I did it this time because I, um, I don't know why. I just chose to do it. And, um, you know, just do something different. See if it did work for me. And it kind of did work for me. Then we put the blue tape on the back. Just make sure that tape stay on and don't fold down onto the shoe. Then we're using the too hard. Not too much too hard. Then you put the red paint in. And uh, I, I usually do probably like 60-40. Uh, probably like 40 um, too hard. You know, 60% paint. Then you mix it up, stir it up. Then you put that first coat onto the shoe. Couldn't get the right angle, but, you know, um, get a little closer. Yeah. Then you just go ahead and paint that on. That's the first coat. Maybe you can probably have a few coats of these, but more coats the better. More coats the better, especially on the bottom. After that first coat of paint with the paintbrush, we go ahead and hit it with the airbrush. The airbrush does not have too hard inside. It would not make any sense to do that because it would not come out of the airbrush. Uh, but yeah, you go ahead and hit that on. You can lay that on as like many, many layers until it actually turns red so you actually get a nice red coat on there. And after you hit it with the airbrush, you know, get a nice little red coat up out of there, bring that red out. You hit it with the paintbrush again the, the, with the too hard and the red paint mixed together. You hit it with the paintbrush again for a couple more coats, you know, just to make it a little bit more scratch proof, make that paint adhere a little bit more. And in my opinion, it's never too many coats. As long as you're doing nice, light coats and you're not packing it on there, trying to, you know, just pack it on, pack it on. It's never too many coats, you know, and I did hit it with the airbrush one more time and you know, peel the tape off. Did a little scratch proof, it's scratching up, scratching them up pretty good and make sure that paint's not coming off. You know, then I'll go ahead and tape off the uppers, well, tape off the midsole so I can do the uppers with the glitter. You know, the taping off is very important. I do use the electric tape all the way around on it for that. Then I tape off the Nike sign with the scotch tape. You know, this is the fun part that y'all don't get to see. You know, the taping off, the cutting off the tape, uh, using the X-Acto knife, you know, this is the fun part. You gotta tape off the laces, um, the lace part, the lace holes and all that. Then you gotta tape off the sock liner and the tape going up, coming up a little bit. Then you gotta make sure the tape is sticking down, the tape's not sticking down, it's pretty annoying. Listen, this is the fun stuff y'all don't get to see. 
Y'all think it's just all fun and dandy, it's all nice and rainbows and colors once it comes out. No, this is the stuff we have to do in order for the project or the creation to come out to look in perfection, you know? Stuff y'all don't get to see. But yeah, man, this is very, very important. If this is what you would like to do, just, you know, just make sure you tape it off pretty good. Now, at this point, I'm adding the Mod Podge onto the shoe so I can put the glitter onto on top of the Mod Podge. You do nice, even coats. You don't want to pack it on there. You never want to pack it on there. You just pour the glitter on uh, while it's wet, of course, and do the other side, same routine. Then after this, um, I'm going to go ahead and sp spray the glitter sealer on there. And while the glitter sealer is actually wet, you're going to actually put more glitter onto the shoe. As you see, I'm spraying right now, spraying, spraying. Then you're going to add more glitter to the shoe, you know, just to fill in and move in more areas. Then after this, I'm going to add some more glitter sealer. And you know, that's just to seal it a little bit more. And as it dries, dry for about an hour, and then you hit it with the glitter sealer again. Hit it with the glitter sealer again. And let it dry for another hour, and then you hit it with the glitter sealer again. That's three times you hit it with the glitter sealer. Now, at this point, it should be completely dry after my another two hours of drying. Then I go ahead and brush off the access glitter. Very important to go ahead and brush off the access glitter. Uh, you don't want the customer to get the shoe and this glitter just all over the place on them. You know, glitter probably will come off a little bit um, after they get the shoe, probably come off for a little while, but um, probably not. If you do it right, it should not come off. But if you have any complaints, it, you know, as you can see, I touched it there. So I'm trying to see if it come off, but it wasn't. Um, no, I'm just untaping the shoe. The untaping is always, always fun. You know, you get to see your work as, you know, as you take the tape off and it's just very, very beautiful. Hey, we finally got a finished product, man. I appreciate y'all for getting through the whole video and I hope that it helped y'all in some way. Some way, shape, or form, I hope I was able to help y'all because I just do things a little different. And uh, let's just say my way, <laughs> it works for me. And as you can see, it works well. But, and I did it, you can hear it now, look. I did a scratch test. I did a scratch test before when I first painted it. Now it's all dried up and it's still, not saying that it'll stay forever because people always be like, don't paint the soul, don't paint the soul. Listen, do what you want to do. If it works for you, it's good. Listen, you just got to find ways around things. Now, with that being said, like I said, you don't know if it's going to, like, the paint is going to stay forever. Because with your weight onto the shoe, plus the cement, plus the scraping and scratching, like, if I do this all day, every day, like, if I'm just doing this or if I just keep doing this, it's going to eventually start to come off. It's not going to just come off in chunks or whatever the case may be. None of that got some glitter on the bottom. But, you know, it'll eventually start to come off. So... This will eventually start to come off if depending on how much he wears these, you know. Um, but if you only wear them once, they're gonna stay on. He can put them up in the camera like bow. You know what I mean? He got his name on the back, my dog Fulio. Hey, make sure y'all tap in with my dog Fulio, man. Fulio on uh, Apple Music or whatever y'all be streaming for whatever, uh YouTube, whatever. His music crazy. This is for his birthday this weekend. He throwing a party in, yeah, he gonna be stepping crazy. <laughs> he gonna be stepping crazy. Yeah, man, make sure y'all tap in, man. Uh, yeah, like, subscribe, do all that, you know, uh, comment, comment, was y'all wear these? I know Black Forces get a bad rep, but, oh, no, we got the gold tips, I'm not gonna lie, the rope laces, they on my Instagram now with the regular laces, I did them, this is why he wanted them, he seen them, he's like, yeah, need those, but he wanted the rope laces, and I can't lie, the rope laces set them off, the rope laces just do something to the shoes, I don't use the big fat rope laces, that's dumb to me, why are you putting fat Big old like the big, like this, like that's too much. But these just like regular, like you know jumbo laces. That's what it look like, you know. And uh, I might do a tutorial on how to do that too, because um, a lot of people ask me and stuff like that. I probably should have did it in this video, but I just like I told y'all before, I be forgetting to record certain things. But yeah, man, make sure y'all stay tuned, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start being more consistent. I said that before, but listen, I'm trying. I hate recording, but I'm trying. Trying, man. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, all that. Rest in peace, mom, dudes. Rest in peace, Kayla. Yeah, man. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Cut. Ah, what up, cut?